as you can see, the world hasn't ended yet. And there are two seconds left to 2020. 59. 2020! And then 2021! Let's go! Listen to me! I have to calm down my breathing. This is important. This proves that we, as the human race, can go through fucking anything. This year, I'm going to become amazing. We're going to fucking crush it. Let's go. 1,000%. Best year ever. 2021. Let's go. Put just in mouth. Fat obligatory. Doom. Doom. And the snow had melted uh, on the wood, uh, on the wood deck, but yes, there is snow outside. So that means that this, that it was probably two to three degrees in the lake. Boom. Happy New Year 2021. And just to clear this up, I yes, I did this workout technically on the 1st of January. Um, I think I performed, yeah, I, I did this workout at around 2am, but I'm still counting it as the 31st of December. Since, I mean, it's, it's kind of that same waking period, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it will be two videos today, but I'm still going to title this um, as the f 31st of December uh, 2020, simply because um, it's easier to follow along that you can see that I did I did train every day. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what that is. Squats felt solid today. Uh, bench felt solid, although I have incredible soreness in my right tricep for an unknown reason. I think it's due to a snowboarding crash um, because I also have a very large amount of um, soreness in my abs and on uh, one side of my neck uh, from, from hitting my head on the ground. Luckily, um, you snowboard with a helmet and um, it wasn't a bad crash. I wasn't flying through the woods or doing a crazy jump or anything. I was just... I was just, um, you know, uh, sliding through the snow, and I fell and hit my head on the um, on the ground on the snow, but it wasn't bad. But I, I think I'm sore from the actual action, from the actual crash, but I'm I'm doing good, and it it wasn't any brain trauma involved, or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2021. However, the power cleans went terribly today, but you guys can just watch this, and. Um, and laugh at it while I'm talking about 2021. So what happened in 2020, really? Hmm, <sighs> it's very difficult to sum it up. I know that we, the coronavirus pandemic hit the world, so that was that was um, unexpected and over the top and incredible. Australia was on fire. Kobe Bryant died, which uh, I don't, personally I don't really care about it that much, but it was a very big thing because. Apparently basketball is a bigger sport than I thought, so that's sad. I mean, anyone who dies, it's sad, but it's specifically him that I remember. Luckily, no one in my family, no, no one of my loved ones died uh, this year. Um, what more happened this year? Um, well, in, in the form of training, I didn't really do a lot. Um, I didn't really make any improvements this year, any significant improvements. I would say I put like 20 kilos on my squat. I went to 120 kilo squat at my best. I put around 5 kilos on my bench press. And I put 0 kilos. No, actually, technically I put 25 kilos on my deadlift. Yeah. So I made a bit of progress this year, but nothing crazy. Um, and, and like I've said before, it was mainly age related and less, um, less hard work and dedication related. I also hit a, 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 um, a record 5 kilometer run. Um, remember though that this is on a very difficult course so this is nowhere near the time I would have if I ran on a track and field track but I've run a 20, I believe it was a 20-35 five kilometer run so that was, I, I, I hit that record this year so I'm also happy about that and currently as you can see I'm working and I'm training to get back to my peak physical form but you know I mean, it was a it was an interesting year, and um, I'm not gonna get into the details um, because I don't think YouTube likes people talking about this. But um, I'm what I'm hoping will happen is that the vaccine will come out and um, people will get vaccinated, and um, and people are gonna stop worrying and the governments are gonna stop worrying about this pandemic, and I'm really hoping that summer 2021 um, things will be able to 
turn back to normal here in Sweden. Um, I believe we will be, you know, 90% regular um, in summer this year. But, you know, you never know. Really, I have no idea. And this is just my prediction from Sweden, which is, uh, you know, it's a it's a rich first world country. And I'm very, I'm very um, happy to live here. Um, so I think it's one of those countries that will not be hit as hard by the pandemic or that hasn't been hit as hard by the pandemic as some other countries which are less fortunate. But uh, also, let's talk about competitions as well. Here in 2021, um, you know why I really care about the pandemic going away? Um, I really care about it because I want the sports to to start again, and specifically taekwondo. I really, really want to compete at least once this year, 2021, that is. Um, I would love for there to be a national championship, and um, by that time I will be 17. So, um, And I, I really believe that I can win a national championship this year, if there is one. Um, because I know that my physical level will is already fantastic, and I know it will be massively better by then um we're talking about like really significant improvements and i'm already in good shape especially if i cut a bit of weight down into a lower weight class i don't need to be much stronger than i already am but most likely i'm going up a weight class so uh, i need to gain the strength but um yeah i would i i would need to work on my technique and keep working on my stretching and my cardio like i'm doing now off camera um and my jump rope or and my kicks, my punches, all that stuff, but I think you, I, w- I want you guys to say stay tuned, and if there is a competition this year, a taekwondo competition, I will post about it. But um, if there is one, I believe it will be after the summer. But we will see. I love you guys. Um, I'm feeling much better today. I'm not sick anymore, and um, let's go. Goodbye.